What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My desire is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So two days ago, I got the opportunity to go and listen to one of my distant mentors, an individual that I looked up for a long time. I've read many of his books. I've listened to countless hours of audios from this gentleman. He's been an inspiration for me for about half of a decade right now. I've listened to basically anything free of him. I've bought some of his books. I've bought some of his CDs and tapes. This is a gentleman that I highly respect. And it was a pleasure for me to get a chance to finally meet him in person, tell him how much he's influenced me and get a chance to take a picture with him. It was just an incredible time. Getting a chance to really meet one of your heroes in person was really good. And what touched me the most is the fact that I was finally able to tell him in person how much he's meant to me. Before this gentleman came on stage and shared to a couple hundreds of people that showed up to come listen to him, the individual that was called onto on stage to introduce him said something that captivated my mind. I said, wow, and it got me thinking for a second and I said, okay, let me share this with my YouTube family. Here's what he said. I'd rather you hurt my feelings than hurt my future. Tell me like it is. And that really arrested my soul because unfortunately today, uh, many of us, myself included, sometimes we have, uh, I would say, softer skin. We get our feelings hurt so much to the point where we rather have our feelings cuddle at the expense of the truth that can impact our future. And to me, that was kind of like a, an amazing moment when he said that I'd rather you hurt my feelings than hurt my future because the information and the stuff that he was sharing, the help that he was bringing to individuals, these were life changing information. These were life changing moments for many people who came there seeking answers, seeking, okay, what was going to happen in this particular sense? Many of us, because we're so defensive and think, okay, this guy might offend some of my beliefs, some might offend the way I look at life, might offend some of the preconceived notions that I had prior to hearing him that we're gonna be rejecting sometimes some truth that could be completely life-changing, altering our future, our generations after us. And I wanna to speak to you a little bit about that. Um, so ask yourself this particular question. Maybe it may not be as daunting as what this man said, but ask yourself the question, are you letting your feelings get in the way of your future? Are you letting your feelings get in the way of your future? I know this is one of those videos that's kind of like a, a wake-up call, kind of like a cold shower. Once in a while, we need it. You need to kind of come back and recalibrate and say, okay, hey, I've been letting a little bit of my emotion take course of my future and some of the things that I want to accomplish. Um, is this all worth it? Right? Is this all like good long terms, right? So for me, when listening to this gentleman, after the guy who introduced him, finished introducing him, he came on stage and just delivered great information. I mean, he, he did not disappoint at all. Uh, it was just an incredible time, right? Uh, the gentleman that I'm talking about is Dr. R. Ray Verdon. He's a pastor out of the Word Church in Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States. And an incredible individual I would encourage you to read really anything Dr. Ari Vernon. He's seeing his growth, uh, seeing how much he's impacted me. He's really one of my distant mentors. I really highly appreciate this gentleman. Uh, he was doing a tour, really promoting one of his newer book. And I bought the book, obviously. And it's great content. I would encourage you to read the book as well. Are you going to let your feelings get in the way of your future? Sometimes it might mean having a relationship that's dragging so long that is impacting your performance at work, it's impacting your performance uh, with your health, it's impacting your performance with your mental stability. Sometimes you take things too personal at work. You know, somebody might say something about your performance and you take taking two things too personal. Instead of trying to fix things, you're being defensive. Sometimes your feelings would show your, yourself and the selfishness that you might be inside of you. I know, I dare say that. You know, I know there's some selfish things about my heart that I have to fix, right? That sometimes some of those things can get in the way of our relationship, right? Whether our spouse, boyfriend, girlfriends, uh, whether our children, relationship, relationship with our parents. Being a millennial today, sometimes we think we know everything. I'm like, okay, they just don't know. They don't understand what they're talking about. We're so willing to jump on our parents for not seeing eye to eye with us. Are we letting our feelings get in the way of our future, right? So 
I would say like this gentleman that was introducing Dr. Ari Vernon said, and this is my message to you as well, when faced with the truth, when faced with something that can benefit me for the best, I pray that I can be able to say like this gentleman said, I'd rather you hurt my feelings than hurt my future. Tell me like it is. Tell me the truth. Bring that information. Bring that thing that's going to change my life. Let not my emotion hinder me from a life-changing moment. So this one is a more of a reflective video, right? I hope this video has been a blessing for you. If it has, give it a thumbs up and share it to one or two people. This will be able to help not only the channel, but also some of those individuals to be able to know, right? Are they letting their feelings get in the way of their future? That's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, you got very best. Take care.